Hey! JD, get out here! Hey, JD, you little sicko, get the fuck out of here before I come in there and break your legs! stuff they put all over me, you know, they like it, you know, they put it anywhere, and uh, so, um, how you doing? What the fuck are you wearing? What? This? Oh, I'm an adventurous lover, you know, I like uh, an experimental sign, you know, uh, nothing wrong with that, huh? Uh, you can watch if you Oh, you're sick. sick, you better shut the fuck up right now. Okay, relax, Tony. Where's my money? See, that's the problem, we are getting ripped off. All right, now you wait here. I gotta go change out of uh, <laughs> this thing, you know. Hey, Raven! Time to put away the double ender. Hey, Tony. Let's you and me uh, go for a drive. Uh, you know, we got some things we gotta check out. Hey, okay, okay. Oh man, what an introduction for Mr. J.D. O'Toole right there, and that's pretty much how all of his cutscenes play out. He's this overly sexual dude who really means no harm to Tony, uh, although he might mean some harm to himself by the sounds of some of these things that goes on. I mean, uh, he was talking about a double ender there. I mean, what comes to mind for me is the Starth Maul type thing where he has a dual-ended lightsaber hanging around the place, but it's probably nothing like that. Um, so we'll leave the rest up to your imagination as to what he might mean by that, but anyways, uh, something that you have to do um, before this mission is you have to switch out of the Leone suit, and the reason for this is because JD is publicly associated with the Sindakos, although behind closed doors he's obviously associated with the Leone family, so he's kind of like a double agent, or the man inside of the Sindakos who's gonna help us take down the Sindakos and all that, but, um... <laughs> Anyways, uh, just to keep the public image, though, and to make it to where the Sindakos don't get suspicious, uh, Tony has to wear his casual slacks instead of the Leone suit, so, yeah, that's your reasoning right there. And, uh, you know, JD, he'll prove to be a really valuable asset in this war against the Sindakos, and, uh, you know, I really like his character for that reason, and also because of the whole sexual thing. You know, it adds that comedic element to the whole thing here, but... Anyways, uh, what we have to do in this mission is drive this creepy-looking van around the Red Light District, which I think suits JD quite well because he himself is a creepy fellow, but <laughs> anyways, we have to drive around the place and uh, meet up with JD's girls to get money that is owed to JD, so it's a pretty straightforward and easy mission, although the pimps can kind of be annoying to chase down because sometimes they like to really hug the walls, so it's hard to run them over, and then... You know, at that point, you'd have to get out and chase them down and maybe shoot them, which can then attract police attention, which is something I have right now, because I accidentally ran over that police officer who was chasing down some Sundakos. Nice work, Tony. I don't think the girls are going to hey, give me any more trouble on this ship. Not gonna lie, I got a bit nervous there uh, that the cop might arrest me during that cutscene. Um, but thankfully they remove you on a level at the end of missions, so I guess that's how they negate something like that happening. But anyways, though, uh, that completes this mission. In the next part, we'll be doing the mission called Dawn in 60 Seconds. So until then, I will see you next time.